Nika fika pale nipokapo niona mtano. Sasa mazunguzo yanakwenda ninaangalia. Nikamkazia macho kwa maraka naona mbona anamalizaje? Ni pili ya tatu na mimi nimekuja hapa nimeshani nishoe na mvua. Akaniambia Mr. Regional Commissioner sir, I can see you looking at me so curiously. I'm going to give you the third one. Think ahead of time. Nikadaka na mlenga. Ukiingia kwenye basi huyu. Ukiingia msikitini huyu. Ukiingia kanisani huyu. Ana ukiingia umetoka unasoma message ileta hela. Mpaka useme chukua hela zako hizo. Ndio mtu binafsi. Balozi wa zao la pamba nchini Agri Mwangri ambaye awali alikuwa mkuu wa mkoa wa Tabora ambaye alikuwa aishiwi na vioja kila panapokucha sasa yupo mkoa wa Manyara katika jukumu lake kama balozi wa zao la pamba katika kampeni ya utekelezaji wa agizo la rais Samia la kufikia uvunaji wa tani milioni moja hadi kufikia mwaka 2025 kupitia ya vipimo venye tija miongoni mwa mambo alizungumza balozi wa pamba ni pamoja na serikali kuwapa mikopo wa kulima lakini pia wakulima wadogo kushikwa mkono na serikali uiwapa agre mwanri unisikilize vizuri mwana semina hakuna kitu kizuri hapa duniani kama kukopeshwa na serikali ukisikia serikali inakopesha hapa alafu ukaacha kuchukua ukasikia yameleta mabati kila mtu atachukua hamsini hamsini mtalipa wakati mtakapovuna pamba yenu ukaacha kuchukua naenda mirembe kaangalia akili yako kama imekata <laughs> hakuna hakuna kitu kizuri ukasikia pikipiki zinatolewa hapa mabati yanatolewa hapa ukaambia hapa kuna mkopo unatolewa hapa sasa mimi naogopa kwamba wakati nitakapokwenda kuuza pamba yangu watanikata hapa ukasema uchukue serikali ikifika mahali lazima uhuru wa Tanganyika sasa wafungwe kwa naachiliwa sasa wafungwe kwa naachiliwa itakuwa ni ndevu kwa hiyo tumekuja hapa mguu kila kitu kiko bali. Sisi tunasema kwamba tunakuombesha kwa sababu maelekezo ya serikali ni kwamba watalipa wakati watakapovuna. Hiyo ni kwamba unataka tu kuweka kitu kinaitwa usharoho. Kwa sababu ukiwaambia kwamba ile dola bure watachukua hii pamba ndebu watakuwa kulishia mifugo. Ndicho kinachozungumzwa hapo. Nenda kakope kwa mtu binafsi. Ukiingia kwenye basi huyu. Ukiingia msikitini huyu. Ukiingia kanisani huyu. Ana ukiingia umetoka unasoma message ileta hela. Mpaka useme chukua hela zako hizo. Ndio mtu binafsi. Lakini serikali itokea COVID-19 za baada hali ilikuwa sio nzuri kuna ugonjwa umefuta. Ukikaa mmekaa na bei pamekoka shida tu ukame kidogo atasman. Hii tutaangalia tena bei. Kwa nini serikali yenyewe ina capture hizo zote kupitia kodi kupitia ushuru. Kwa hiyo mkuu hivi vitu vyote tutapatikana hii elimu tunayoitoa hapa itatolewa bure na sisi tutakuja sasa hivi naondoka tutakwenda nitarudi tena kwa ajili ya kuangalia jinsi ya kwenda ni nini tunachokutafuta katika mkoa huu wa Manyara tumewaambia watu wetu mimi ni kwenda siku moja nimekuwa na Israel nikasema pale wangu hivi nyinyi mmefanya fanyaje mlipata uhuru mwaka 1947 mkafika hapo mlipofika wakasema tunafikiri tofauti nkadaka nikasema fikiri tofauti by the way you guys You got your independence in 1947. How did you manage to come to where you are today? Akasema we think differently. Nikaenda kwa regional commissioner pale kama wewe mkuu. Wakaje, nikauza what about this idea of thinking different? I said oh that man, hiyo tumeshakwenda nayo lakini kuna nyingine. We think correctly. Nikadaka. Nikasema I said nimeshakuwa mzinga wa mtu hapa. Think differently, think correctly. Akasema by the way Mr. Regional Commissioner sir We are going to have a service over there. If you come there we shall give you the third one. Nikasema no I can't manage it. I have a tight itinerary. It was raining cats and dogs. I couldn't manage it. I said it's up to you Mr. Regional Commissioner sir. You come we shall give you the third one. Mzee, mkuu nikaondoka nikajikokota, nikavaa makoti yale ya polisi na miavuli. Wakanipeleka kule ndio mwenyekiti wao ni mwenyekiti wa kamati wa salama. Nikafika pale nilipokapo niona mtano sasa mazunguzo yanakwenda ninaangalia nikamkazia macho kwa maraka naona mbona anamalizaje ni pili ya tatu na mimi nimekuja hapa nimeshani nishoe na mvua akaniambia Mr. Regional Commissioner sir I can see you looking at me so curiously I'm going to give you the third one think ahead of time nikadaka na mlenga think ahead of time think differently think correctly think ahead of time nikatoka nikakaa nikafikiria sasa hii yote sasa nataka kufunga bao 
mkulima mdogo mdogo mheshimiwa mkuu wa mkoa usipomshika mkono kama unavyomshika mtoto mdogo mkono akatishe barabara atagongwa na mabaya mkulima mdogo lazima apate msuli wa serikali and that's why na salute serikali inaongozwa na mama Samia Suluh Hassan kwamba imefika mahali imemconsider mkulima mdogo mdogo huu rais amekuwa ni hema kwetu tusiponyanyuka manyara hapa kipindi cha mama huyu sahau 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 habari ya maendeleo hapa manyara sahau wakimpata mkuu wa mkoa nimesema wanamtumia kama shoka na hivi vitu vyote wakimpata rais kama huyu wanamtumia kama shoka leo tunakuja hapa kila kitu kiko available mnisikize vizuri viongozi Nisema yale mengine nitaacha nitaeleza vile vitu ambavyo nasukuma katika moyo wangu vilisema. Na hivi nilisema nitaviachia makongoro Nyerere akijaa. Wachina walikuwa harusi za watoto wawili. Sasa hivi wa maharusi wazee watoto wawili. Mtoto wa pili wa Kichina hakuachwa azaliwe tu hivi. hivi. 